Shakesters. Hi YouTube. Hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is going to be a Target haul. <laughs> Your girl has been spending some shmoney at Target. So I have some really good fall and winter finds, super affordable, on trend, all that good stuff. And perfect for fall and winter. I can't wait for you guys to see. And I'm gonna throw in a few knickknacks because like, can you ever go into Target for one item? Never. Okay, so if you're new here, hi, my name is Chi Chi, and on this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, well, girl, you are in the right place. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Also, if you like Target hauls, make sure you hit that like button so I know to make even more Target hauls for you. So like everyone <laughs> this season, if you watched my trends video, I think I slightly touched on shackets, but shackets are like the, one of the biggest micro trends for this season. And it totally makes sense because, you know, most of us have been working from home and our style is a lot more casual. I like the idea of throwing a shacket on. It's like, it's not a shirt. It's not a jacket. It's perfect for kind of transitioning. Like if you have to run errands, if you have to come home, if you're not gonna be too hot, yes? Oh, I thought my son was talking to me. So I love that shacket um, trend and a few places, in my opinion, have nailed it, H&M being one of them. So anyways, I digress, this is a Target haul. Now, if you cannot get your hand on a shacket or you don't wanna spend $60, $70, a great way to kind of hack the shacket look is just to go for an oversized plaid flannel, like this one right here, okay? So if you are seeing my community tab messages, you probably already seen this jacket because I showed it, or this shirt rather, this is a shirt. This is a women's shirt. I just sized up to a 4X and it just gave me that perfect oversized feel that I was looking for. You could also do the same thing in the men's section. So if you can't find it in the women's section, cause I believe this shirt was like on limited stock when I purchased it. Um, you could always check the men's section and I will link to it down below. Target has a ton of these, but what I, what I like about this flannel shirt is that this actually feels like a flannel. Like sometimes when you go on the more affordable side, they're a little bit like too thin and just, just something's off and I really, really like this. Like I have another version of this that I got from Walmart that I never wear because like the way it was formulated was just didn't work for me, but this really works for me. So I styled it with like a, a dark green um, turtleneck dress, which I think is in the wash or maybe on the pile on the floor. I don't know, but I don't have it with me. Um, so I, Really love this and I'm gonna link to this and similar ones for you guys down below. So the next item is gonna be a pair of shoes. I'm not sure if you guys can really see it because of how bright this light is in front of me, but I was doing a collaboration with Target and I was trying to complete an outfit and I saw this and I thought it was really interesting. I love leopard print. It's basically a neutral and if you're like me and you love neutrals but you like to like spice up your outfits, then leopard print is literally your best friend. You could also do like cow print, zebra print, but leopard print I think is a classic. Okay, it's a classic print. Um, this is a platform sneaker. So I'm actually kind of like of two minds with this one because I didn't shoot this sneaker because I was like, I don't know, is this kind of juvenile? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments below like how I envisioned to wear this would be with a midi skirt, like a two piece. Um, I have this two piece set from Walmart and I would pair it with these sneakers for like a dress down weekend running around kind of look. So let me know in the comments below what you think about these. Are they a yes? Are they a no? And I like the fact that the platform gives you a little height. So if you're on the more petite side, I would check that out. So the next item, I'm not even going to bother holding up because it's going to be super bright. But I picked up this chartreuse colored 
um, sweater. I had had it on my mind for a while. Every time I would go to Target, I would see it. It was calling my name. And I've been really into just experimenting with color during the fall and winter. Like before, once fall and winter hit, it was all neutrals and blacks and like dark colors. But this season, Sis is having fun. I'm introducing some pinks, some greens, some purples, some mustard, which I literally wear year round these days. And I feel like you should too. Like if you're gonna dress up, you might as well while out. So anyways, I picked up this sweater pairing it here with some jeans. Um, it, I got this in an extra, extra large. And for the most part, um, anything knit fits me in an extra, extra large at Target. And to me, it fits kind of cropped. The next item, I'm not even gonna bother holding up because it's gonna throw it off completely, is going to be a Teddy jacket. Again, I saw this um, this is part of the Wild Fable concession at Target. If you are not familiar with the Wild Fable con concession, it's like their diffusion line for like young adults. I won't say teens, but young adults. And I'm living my best life in that concession because the prices tend to be affordable. They tend to be a little bit more trend forward. And so when I saw this Teddy jacket, I was like, mm, yeah, I like that. I love all the detailing on this jacket. It has like trucker style pockets um, and then it has turtle shell buttons, which I think is the cutest and kind of like elevates it. And the inside is not Sherpa fabric. It's kind of made of like a, almost like a woven cotton. So it won't be as itchy or as uncomfortable as the Sherpa fabric on the outside. I like that. Um, so I grabbed it and I actually grabbed it in a 2X, but honestly, I am going to be returning it and exchanging it for like an extra, extra large or maybe a 1X because it is quite oversized. Um, but yeah, I absolutely just love pieces like this to throw on. They make the perfect third pieces. Like if you have watched any of my like videos about how to create outfits, you know that every outfit needs a third piece. Like if you see an outfit and you just love it, it, like it looks complete, it's because it typically has a third piece. That could be a hat, that could be a jacket, some kind of statement accessory, a belt, something that really ties it in together. So it seems like I can't do a haul these days without including a graphic tee. Again, I feel like all our wardrobes have been fundamentally changed and I just love a graphic tee to just wear casually and also to kind of dress down some of my more dressy pieces. Like I recently styled a graphic tee with a gold blazer. Can't get enough. I'm, I'm, I'm creating a nice collection of graphic tees. This one is a Rolling Stone one. They are like classic when it comes to graphic tees. No, I do not listen to the Ramones or the Rolling Stones or Metallica or any of these brands that I rock their tees. I rock their tees because they're cute and I like the fact that they're edgy, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I love these. I got this in a size 3X just because I wanted it to be longer so that if I pair it with leggings, I wouldn't have to like worry about covering my butt and et cetera, et cetera. And what I've noticed is that these graphic tees can get pretty expensive. Like I'm obsessed with the ones from Urban Outfitters but they're like $60. Why am I paying $60 for a graphic tee? So continuing on with accessories, I saw this turtle shell belt and I was like, ooh, I gotta have that. And honestly, I was just thinking about it. I was like, I could probably turn this. No, actually I can't. For a second I was like, can I turn this into one of those um, chains that I'm seeing people rocking with their masks? But I, you could definitely turn this into one of those chains that people I see people rocking with their um, sunglasses but anyways it is a belt you could also DIY it and I put it on my neck like a chain if you gangster like that so it's really cute it's a turtle shell link and I just got it to be like something cute that I could use to cinch in my waist in addition to that belt I also picked up some beanies which you can't see but you'll see me wearing I think they are a must have around this time since most of us are living in our sweats and our comfy clothes I love just throwing on a beanie on a really casual outfit and throwing on like a structured jacket. It just completes the outfit. It looks cute. It looks like you put some effort into it, but literally all you did was add a hat. If you want extra points, you can also throw on a pair of sunglasses and sis. 
okay? That is nailing off duty style. I really like how chunky these beanies are. Um, they're chunky, they look expensive, and I'm gonna link to them down below because they come in several colors. And Target has like different style beanies, but this, these ones specifically, these ones are substantial. So the next item I picked up are, is gonna be this a little um, pajama set. Okay, we shot some Christmas photos, so I actually picked up some Christmas pajamas, but I'm like, I don't like to be too matchy-matchy, so we kind of did like different shades of gray, um, and I, this was my favorite one out of it, just because it is gray, but it has like, um, gold stars running through it as you guys can see it's a stripe it's super easy I got mine in a size extra extra large I know we normally just cover like fashion and like accessories things related to fashion but if you guys want me to start in incorporating more like knickknacks homeware beauty any of that good stuff that I pick up in my hauls let me know in the comments below because I love sharing so <laughs> Hey, you're just making me happy. The first thing I wanna share with you guys is gonna be this room spray. It also comes in a candle. I think it also comes in a diffuser. And I can see why, because this stuff smells ghoul. Okay, it smells ghoul. Okay, not good, ghoul. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Um, it is the Passion Fruit Plus Amber, I think the Opal line at Target. This stuff smells so, so good. Like. It just smells so good. It just makes me feel like I'm in, I'm in like Fiji or something like that. I don't know anything about smells, but literally smells like an a, a, like I'm on vacation. I freaking love this stuff. Love it. I may have to get a second one because you know sometimes Target be like discontinuing items and they don't they don't bring it back. And I, I would say for how long it lasts, maybe about a like. That's like about an hour. Aside from that, I just love it. It just like wakes up my senses anytime I spray. Now, you know, I put up my tree within the first week of November. I picked up this really cute mug that says, Mary everything. I also picked up the Mrs. Claus mug. Um, speaking of Mrs. Claus, oh my gosh, make sure you are signed up for my newsletter because I have something coming. Just to say a huge thank you to you guys for supporting this channel. We hit 20K. Okay. <laughs> you guys have just been supporting me everywhere. And I'm hoping by the time you guys see this, we would have also hit 30K and up on Instagram. that love the content I produce, that I bring value to, okay? That are engaging with it. That's what I want. And you guys show me so much love. So I just wanted to say thank you to you because you guys are the best. The bees knees, okay? So right now, Target has some really great Christmas decor. I'm sure you've probably already been to the Wonder Shop, but if you haven't or if you're just now shopping for Christmas decor, I did a roundup of some of my fav favorite Christmas knickknacks and I will definitely put a link to it for you guys down below. Let me know in the comments below what the last three things you bought from Target are. Now let's do a little housekeeping. So details to everything that I mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. So will my sizing, my weight, my height, all that good stuff. And like, if you're looking for like info on this lip, on this um, jacket, all of that good stuff will be in the description box for you. If you enjoy this video, I'm pretty sure you will love this video and you'll probably like 
this video too. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.